Hey everyone, again, it's Amy from Eat, Breathe, Move, and today I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I call it do a thing. It's a simple habit that you can incorporate into your day, and what I'm going to talk about today is the stuff that I like to call hippie powder. So this is my hippie powder, and it's kind of got a green tint to it, and what this is is basically it's just a blend of some different things. So the first thing I start with is some kind of meal replacement. This is the one I'm trying right now, uh, raw organic meal from Garden of Life. Um, the stuff isn't cheap and I would definitely recommend that you pay for meal replacement powder. If you're gonna kind of skip a meal and eat a shake, the, the higher quality the better. You don't wanna you know three dollar you know for 10 servings of um meal meal powder and i don't call it protein powder because i'm really looking for a nutritional powder actually, i actually have another one too this is the one i was using before and i get i also get this at whole foods this vega one it's super high quality again it's not cheap but i can often find it on sale at whole foods and sometimes you can find a coupon for it where it might be five bucks off. But just make sure you get something really high quality. So I'll start with, start with the powder and then I add some spirulina. Uh, this is just a, this is a super food. It's kind of an algae. It's the, the bottom of the food chain and it's what fish eat. So fish eat the little plankton and that's where you get all that they get their kind of nutrients from that and the nutrients that we get when we eat fish is coming from what they eat. So this is kind of going to what they eat. And this wasn't actually that expensive. This huge, huge jar I think was $25 that I just got on Amazon. And I just put a teaspoon, so there's whatever their scoop of this, a teaspoon of this. I also add some more green superfood. I think I'm going to stop doing this with my next one. I In this batch, I just put half a teaspoon in, but I think I'll probably just go ahead and cut this out next time. For me, I just feel like the more greens that I can eat, the better I feel. And then I add this acacia fiber. I put that in there. Um, this was recommended to me from a doctor. You know, we're supposed to get about 50 grams of protein a day and unless you're really paying attention to it and eating specifically eating things that are high in fiber it's really hard to hit that actually you know as part of the paleo diet they talk about our ancestors would get about a hundred grams of protein a day which kind of shows you how the fish or a fiber excuse me a hundred grams of fiber a day which just shows you how deficient we are in fiber so I just you know create this concoction and put it all in one jar and that's what I'll make my smoothie from so I've got my blender back here not really sure you can see it but I'll explain what I'm doing so I just take a scoop of my hippie powder dump that in there and then I like to get these organic mixed greens I'll get organic girl Whole Foods has a brand I know Rayleigh's has an organic mixed green. I think that the bulk mixed greens actually last a little longer. Um, these you need to use up pretty quickly before they start getting kind of funky and you'll be able to smell it when they start to go off. And so I'll just take about two handfuls of, eh, yeah, maybe, one big handful, one small handful of that, of the, the greens. And you can get whatever kind of greens you like. I like the spring mix, the generally the baby spinach and the other springs. They have kind of a sweet taste to it. You can get, I think there's a superfood one that has arugula in it, um, but that can be a little bit more bitter, so the palatability of the smoothie might not be there, but I mean, there's so much other stuff in there you might not even be able to taste it. And I do think it's important to rotate the greens that you're eating so you get the, a big variety, or at least the biggest variety you can. And then I add um, some organic blueberries. I get this at Whole Foods, and this is, I think they just raised the price, so this was $9. 
I used, <laughs> I used to just dump them in there, but sometimes I'd go a little crazy, and since these aren't, you know, they are sort of expensive, I started measuring it out. So I do three quarters of a cup of the blueberries. And then I don't always do an avocado, but today I'm going to, cause this is gonna be my lunch, cause I have to go run errands and I'm not gonna have time to cook. So I will put, I just put half an avocado in. If you put any more than that, it's gonna get really thick. And um, you know, that can be, I'm not a huge, I don't have a real problem with texture and taste. You know, I'll eat just about anything, so. But if you have a problem with texture, a thick smoothie is gonna be kind of gross. And then I add just a little bit of, this is a lime, because I had a lime on my counter. You could add a little bit of lemon. Um, what this does is the acid in the lime will help make the nutrients in the greens more bioavailable when you eat it. So just a little bit so you get a taste. All right, and then we're just gonna blend that up. So pardon me while I <laughs> use the blender. just a little Hamilton Beach um, if you uh, my I think my birthday wish list will be either a Vitamix or a Ninja or something a little bit more powerful like I said I don't really have a problem with consistency so the fact that I can still see chunks of the greens in there doesn't really bother me but if I was using a blender over the summer that really liquefied the whole thing and it was just it was a lot nicer to drink so with the avocado in there it's still pretty thick, so I'm gonna add some more water and continue to blend it. I need to add more water I'll do it after we get off the video so here it is it's still now yeah, that avocado gives it a lot of density but for me I like that because it's some substance uh, especially if I'm using it for meal replacements sometimes I'll just use it as a as a morning snack or something so I'll have breakfast a couple hours later I'll have the smoothie and then that'll allow me to have a late lunch which will allow me to have a smaller dinner and I think uh, for me smaller dinners are good I don't want to eat a lot of food right before I go to bed so a light dinner works well uh, when I was going to work every day I would actually just throw that into a mason jar and you know throw it in my bag with my lunch actually I would take my breakfast the smoothie and my lunch if I made a lunch to work and so I was taking quite a bit of food into the office every day but it also helps me in not scarfing down on the stuff that they have available there which does not make me feel very good so that's my hippie powder I really like it um, whenever I use it regularly my nails start to grow so I have the hardest time keeping my nails long I've been doing this for maybe a week and they're actually starting to grow for the first time in almost a year basically they grow a little bit and they would just break off so i kind of use my nails as a indicator of my internal health and so this makes me feel like i'm giving my body the nutrients it needs in order to grow the nails because i think your nails and your hair are going to be the last thing your body cares about when it's delegating its resources so there you have it it's actually i like the taste of it it's quick, it's easy, um, it's light so you won't get bogged down. It'll help you, you know, if you don't have that pasta or big sandwich lunch, it'll keep you 
you know, awake all day, you won't have that three o'clock where you just need to have a little bit more coffee to keep you going. So, I'm gonna drink this and then I got some stuff to do for the rest of the day and then I'll have, you know, I think I'm gonna have some fish and actually I need to go to the grocery store and get some vegetables. So I'll, that's what I'll have for dinner, but it'll be light. Okay, all right, well, post any questions you have below or if you have a, you know, a meal replacement drink that you like, feel free to share that. I'm kind of in a testing mode. I'd been, you know, stuck with the Vega One for a really long time, and then I was at the store, and this one happened to be on sale. And it's actually pretty good. Uh, the trick is you wanna make sure that it is very low sugar. Generally, they might be sweetened with stevia or xylitol, so you wanna check that. Let's see, this has one gram of sugar, so you definitely wanna make sure you don't have any more than one or two grams. And then it has a whole list of the, the vitamins in it. And this is what I'm going for. This is what I want. I don't want just a protein powder. I'm looking for a nutritional meal replacement. All right, so share, share one if you have one that you like. I definitely be, enjoy checking out other brands. All right, and you know, if you like this stuff, feel free to share it with anyone you think might find it interesting and invite them into the group. If you have any questions about like what to eat, you know, maybe some how to get started meditating, how can you fit some movement into your day when you're already so busy, feel free to post any kind of question in the group. And also, like I've said before, you know, feel free to share any resources that that work for you. You know, we're all trying to kind of in this together, trying to find what works best. And there's a lot of resources out there. So if you have one that you like, please share it. All right. Have a great day. Hope uh, your first week of 2017 is going well. All right. I'll see you again soon. Bye.